What's going on everybody? My name is Steven. You're watching Fowler Airgun Channel. Check this out guys. Uh, if you have followed the channel whatsoever, you'll see just a couple days ago, I got my hands on this air rifle from a company named Gunsan. This is the CSATA in 22 caliber. Uh, just a little FYI. This has been modified already. I know that I said I was going to put out multiple videos on the new Gunsan CSATA. But unfortunately, I had a major malfunction in the air gun that required me to go inside of it and modify it anyway. So with that being said, <clears throat> it's either that or send it back to the manufacturer. And I just don't do that over here because I have the means to do my own stuff. The probe was very, very small on the tip and that just broke clean off. So with that being the case, uh, instead of trying to reach out to gun sand and get parts because that may not be an option, uh, I just went ahead and fixed it myself here. And uh, so far, everything is really turning out well. Um, accuracy has been a little iffy with it. Uh, it is very pellet picky, especially once you get out like me. I'm, I am an accuracy snob. So if I'm not shooting like pinholes at 40 yards, then usually I'm just so turned off from it. Uh, but it's still shooting okay, <clears throat> and I still have a long ways to go. I got some new order, some new pellets on order. And uh, that'll give us a variety more new to test with. But I've gone through uh, literally well over a dozen different types of projectiles on this. And it just is very, 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 very choosy. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to bring out here just show you what this is doing. <clears throat> so originally from the manufacturer, this is a 200 bar uh, pressure fill here. And you'll see I'm actually running right just a hair below-ish of uh, 250 bar on this. Uh, I have filled this up and left it overnight and have had absolutely no issues with anything bursting on it. Uh, I'm not advising anybody out there really run their uh, gun sand. If you have one like this, I'm just showing you specifically what it is capable of doing. So this giant air cylinder, I have it maxed up 250 bar fill. I have my chronograph on and what I'm going to be shooting are, well, if I could find them. So what happens when you have too many pockets. All right, I'm gonna be shooting field target. These are H&N field target trophy green. So these are a lead free pellet and it's really light for 22 caliber. This is 9.57 grains. So really on the light end of the spectrum. This is purely just to show you what it is doing with a so-called maximum velocity here. Uh, so you can kind of see what that's doing. And then I'm going to go back and load us up just the standard Crossman Premier hollow points in this and show you what that's doing for some velocities and show you a little bit of accuracy. So what I'm going to do is I have chronograph set up and I have, you know, target out there at 40 yards. That should be nice and audible for us. So, All right. Here we go. Hopefully I don't shoot the chronograph here. Got an error on that first shot. Try down a little bit lower here. 12 14. I hope you are seeing that. Got another error. another error maybe it's just it's it's a little cloudy today it's very overcast so 1222 12 12 25. I'm not sure what happened there if we just didn't get a reading and now let me show you the pressure I'm still on here so I'm getting two nice healthy fat magazines like that so this has put me right about that like 200 and it's like 260 or I mean 200 and like 30 ish bar because two magazines will put me flush just about right at 200 bar so those are the velocities that I'm getting with the like I said the 9.57 grain H&N uh, field target trophy greens and uh, those are lead-free pellets. So like I said, really on the very light end of the spectrum, but that's just to show you the velocities. Let me go get this switched out. I'm gonna put us some of these Crossman Premier 
hollow point 14.3 grains in here shoot them over chronograph and shoot out at the same target out there at 40 yards and uh, by the way I target out at 40 yards it's it's just a hair bit over my hand so it's like maybe an 8 inch target roughly out of 40 yards and I am using a red dot so kind of to my disadvantage the uh, group down there isn't like fantastic but I can see it from here and it's probably about a solid like three maybe four inch group from here so not bad and those are moving at over 1200 feet per second and that is a lot of power off of a 9.57 grain pellet let me go jump over like I said quit blabbing switch over to these Crossman Premier hollow points and I clean my magazine out and then uh come back out here and show you, show you what that's doing <laughs> All right, cool deal. What's going on, everybody? We're right back at it. So check it out. Maybe some of you may or may not be able to see down in there. That's a little standard Crossman Premier hollow point pellet. And I actually got us both magazines here loaded up. And uh, again, back at a 250 bar max PSI fill. I'm going to shoot uh, again, not for any real accuracy here, uh, out at 40 yards. Uh, but I am shooting... Uh, nonetheless, just to kind of show you some velocities here, and we'll get to the whole accuracy portion of it. I really think with this much power pumping out of this, I'm going to have to back it way, way down because without a much longer, more accurate, a better barrel on this, it's just not going to shoot anything, especially at these velocities really well. <clears throat> I've tried some really heavy slugs and things out of this, and even at the high speeds it's traveling, the uh, rifling is so aggressive in this barrel, and really it's not the most quality barrel so you know you're only gonna get so much accuracy out of it all right here we go again 40 yards maybe i'll be able to get us a couple shots out here and that one just dipped really low i'm not getting anything on this chronograph let's try this again here all right, here we go. Maybe not. Back this up a little bit so I don't shoot my tent or anything here. Yeah. Sorry, it's a, it's a little funky doing this here. All right, here we go again. Thousand fifty-five. I missed on that one. 1,056, 1,057,1,059,1,056, 1061 all right so again we're gonna do both magazines and that's just the first one there and uh we're gonna go ahead now shoot the second magazine and again this puts us again right at that 230 bar ish range two magazines roughly so all right see what we got here Miss that one. Thousand fifty five. Thousand fifty three. Not sure if you all are seeing that. Thousand fifty four. Thousand forty three. Thousand thirty eight. Oops. Thousand forty three. Oh, I have a little issue probing that pellet. This one might fly a little funky on us. Thousand twenty four. Thousand twenty five. Thousand twenty-three. Fifty-five. Thousand 
finish it off. Two magazinos. Fresh. How y'all like that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, <clears throat> and right, this one was a it's a little bit of a warmer day today. We've had about a 10 degree warm up since I've really started messing with this. So velocities will climb uh, with the rise in temperature, obviously. Uh, but it's it's like 60 degrees right now, so it's pretty good. It, it really, the velocities won't get a whole lot higher than this. But right there, check that out. Right at 200 bar. Still a lot of air in there. I'm not saying that I can't use that air pressure. I can't shoot down. This is just to show you what it is capable what it is doing right now and again <clears throat> i think i'm really gonna have to tune this thing down a lot i know i hate to say that too because i like power coming out of my air gun i think it's cool when you can shoot velocities like that because that just, even you know now granted i understand i'm just was just flinging a 9.57 grade pellet but you know come on over 1200 feet per second i mean that's that's pretty cool anyways and uh yeah right there uh almost near anyways 1100 feet 1050 you know what a standard crossman like a hollow point pellet that you would go get from walmart you know so uh and really cheap and i got a ton of them so that's really great that they'll shoot you know at a velocity like that i was shooting some really heavy stuff like 25 and like 30 and 35 grain pellets and slugs and uh don't get me wrong that's really great and they were i was shooting some uh lead plate out at 40 yards yesterday as well as shooting something that i really think i'm gonna bring into the mix in a couple videos i've been shooting the uh kinetic sand my kids use this stuff they play with it all the time and it's some kind of sand with like glue in it or something i believe and uh i'm really not kidding you i can shoot this stuff with the texan and 457 and it'll stop that and you don't need but just a you know gallon sized bag of it and it's really really good at stopping smaller projectiles even the 22 caliber here at the velocities it was moving i was shooting that stuff and i was only getting probably about like four inches of penetration in that stuff so pretty pretty sweet and i actually have all those projectiles and uh in another video i'll do later and i'll post pictures of them and you know we'll do stuff like that in the future anyhow i'm gonna quit blabbing i'm just gonna show you what i've done here as well you see that i've uh I've made a couple of adjustments with this, some modifications uh, with the hand guard, the handrail here. What I've done is it was full length, and I just didn't, I just didn't like that. Uh, it also took uh, quite a few ounces off of it. And then what I've done is I've, I've cut it and I've moved it to the back end. And what I've done is I've uh, sunk these grub screws, these set screws, right into this little adapter here. There's this thick aluminum adapter here between the uh, barrel shroud in the barrel and I tapped into that and I've used some set screws into there so that holds real steady and it really really I really really like this uh, hand guard on here because there's really no wiggle room around where the air cylinder is going in and when you slide it over that it's really got this really tight fit between the air cylinder and the actual uh, shroud for the barrel which is putting a lot of tension on that but not too much it's not bending the barrel up out or anything uh, but it's sitting really nice and very very rigid so it's really essentially just a really great barrel band uh accuracy out of it even when i had a scope on it was still spot on so uh and not spot on i don't mean like it's shooting pinholes i just mean it's holding true to where it's supposed to be shooting at uh, but get, we'll get the groups cleaned up and stuff and i'll do some videos here real soon for you all with uh all these uh groupings and things out there at 40 yards and probably 65 where i was shooting the other day with it and toy around with it out there a little bit anyways guys i hope you enjoyed that video if you like it give it a thumbs up shoot me a comment let me know what you think about it uh subscribe if you want to see some more from this crazy old circus and as always guys we'll see you next time